What's up YouTube? Have you wondered if Affinity has a blob brush tool similar to Illustrator? Well, that's what we're here to talk about today. Welcome back, my name is Ben. I'm a media design educator, and today we're talking about whether Affinity has a blob brush tool. And the short answer to that is, it doesn't. Now you might be wondering, what is the blob brush tool if you've never heard of it before? Well, the blob brush tool is a tool that was in Adobe Illustrator, and I think it still is. I haven't used Adobe Illustrator in quite some time, but I don't think they've removed it. But it was a tool that allowed you to use something that felt like a brush, similar to a raster brush that you would use in Photoshop or Affinity Photo back in the day, and you could draw with a brush like that, but instead of creating a raster image, it would create a vector shape. And it wouldn't create just a line like you could do with a pen tool, it would actually create the outline of that shape as a vector. And that was useful to some people in certain instances. And it was actually quite useful in things like shading and stuff like that when you were working on illustration. If you wanted to be working in vectors instead of in rasters because you want that scalability but you still want kind of the freehand motion of the brush. And that has never existed in Affinity. It wasn't in Affinity Designer. And if we look in the new Affinity, it's not here either but there is a tool that we can use to almost mimic it. So we're going to dive into Affinity now. We're going to take a look at it. I'm going to show you how you can, with a couple of extra steps, make this work very similar to the blob brush tool. Remember, what you're going for with the blob brush tool is trying to create a freeform shape that is a vector shape, not a line. Let's go ahead, let's dive in and take a look at it. Okay, so here we are. We've dropped into Affinity and we are in the Vector Studio. So go ahead and make sure that you are on Vector in the top left, and that should be the blue one. We're going to go ahead and find this tool, the vector brush tool. So your tools are on the left hand side. If you do need a full tour of Affinity, I do have a video that just goes into a full tour of where, you know, the different sections of the app are and things like that. But if we go over here on the left hand side, we're going to go down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tools to the pencil tool. That looks like a pencil there. And if you hold down on that, you're going to get a little fly out menu. And that fly out menu has three tools, pencil tool, path brush tool, and the knife tool. So we're going to go ahead and grab this path brush tool, which is how we are going to paint in vectors. So let's go ahead and grab that. When you do, you see you get a circle. Now your circle might be really small. I've used mine before, so mine's a little bit bigger, but this works like a brush. So if you're used to using a paint brush tool in something like Photoshop or Affinity Photo, before they merged all the apps together, then this should seem familiar to you. You can make this brush size bigger or smaller based on your brackets. So using the left bracket, we can make it smaller and the right bracket, we can make it bigger. So I'm just hitting those on my keyboard. And with the blob brush tool, you generally wanted it to be pretty big. You have some of your kind of standard brush menu items up here in the contextual menu. So this is where you've got your size right here. You can control it there. If you don't want to use it with the brackets, you have opacity. There's a more button here which will pop open this dialog box, which will allow you to set more of the things that you might be used to in dealing with brushes. And then you've got a stabilizer as well. So you can turn that on and then you can choose from either the rope mode or the window mode. So both of those are different stabilizers you can use. I'm gonna turn it off for now. You have this here, which is your blend mode. But for right now, let's just go ahead and let's just draw something out with this and see what it does. So if I go ahead and I draw a curve like that, I have basically this line and it's the size of the brush that I was using. But if I come over here and I grab my move tool and then I'm on it, you can see that this is actually just a vector line. If I go to my node tool, we can actually see each place there's a point in here. So there's one, two, three, four points in here. So how is it getting so big? Well, that is the stroke width. If you go over to the stroke panel on the right hand side over here, see the stroke panel here, then you are going to see see that the width here is set to 60.2. All right, now if I grab my path brush tool again and I make it bigger and I draw, now we're going to see that we have a width of 184.3. Okay, but this is still just a line. I can lower that width and I can make it small, okay? So I can do, you know, whatever. Now, the one thing here is this only goes up to 100 normally, but if you make the brush size bigger than it can, or you can type in something bigger here. I can type in 200 and make it big. But I can still affect it just like a can of line. It is not a vector shape, which is what we're after here. But all we have to do here is actually go ahead and go up to where we have our vector menu here in the top left, and then come down to expand stroke. Now, when we do that, it of course takes the line that is the stroke and it turns that into vector points. So let's click that. And now we don't have a line anymore. And if we go to our node tool, we now have these nodes all around the edge. And that's cool, but it's, it's still drawing a line and then turning it into a vector. In order to make this really work like the blob brush tool, we need to paint over ourselves. Okay, so let's grab this paintbrush again. I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller, but let's say I just want kind of like a lemon shape here. I can kind of 
shape out what a lemon would look like. And this might work even better once we have the iPad version again. Let me give it a little nubs on the end so I have my little lemon here. And that kind of looks like a shape, but it's not. If I go to my tool again, we will see that this is just all those lines that I drew. So the question is, what happens if I expand this stroke? Will it turn into a blob that kind of follows this line or will it turn into one blob, which is what we want. So we're going to come up to vector again and we're going to choose expand stroke. And then we see that it really is just one. We'll go to our node tool here and we can see each of our nodes and it's just the outline of the shape. So as you paint over, it does create that path running back and forth. But once you expand it, it is one shape, one blob. And that's how you go ahead and use the path brush tool as a blob brush tool here in Affinity. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed learning how to use the vector brush tool to mimic the blob brush tool from Adobe Illustrator. I think this will be helpful to a lot of people who maybe are frustrated by this tool missing from Affinity. Now, if you're interested in Affinity, I do have a whole course that's an introduction to the program. This includes looking at all three studios, Vector, Pixel, and Layout. So go ahead and drop down in the description and you will find links to that to take it on Skillshare or on Gumroad. If you choose to take it on Gumroad, make sure you use the code YT15 to get it for just $15. All right, we'll chat in the comments and I will see you in the next video.